All right, what's going on guys? It's Aaron with Thrive Outdoor Solutions again. And today we are here to go over what we seen on the uh, previous video with going over the Rainbird TM2. You know, I mentioned we were gonna be going over the, uh, the Rainbird Rain and Free Sensor. So that's what we got today. So stay tuned. All right, so here on the WR2, this is the receiver. Uh, and the, uh, the rain and freeze sensors typically usually on a gutter system. It's also sometimes found on the fence line Just depends on where the uh, the uh, installer thought it was the best to be placed um, Good thing about this guy and why I like this this uh, rain and freeze sensor a little bit more than Others that are out in the market is that you've got the ability to see your battery uh, And how much charge it's got left on it. These take uh, the little CR 2032 batteries um, and they do really well. Uh, again, I've had very little issues. I've, I've replaced mine maybe once, maybe two times a year, um, if that. Uh, and it does really, really well. I really like this uh, this particular style of uh, rain and free sensor. The other thing that you see is the actual um, the reception, right, uh, from the sensor itself uh, to the receiver. And that's another reason why I kind of like this because the other ones don't really give you how far can you go before it doesn't connect to your receiver. Um, so this is kind of a nice feature as well that the Rainbird receiver or Rainbird rain and free sensor offers you. The WR2 is the only one that I know of that shows you the reception. Uh, as well as the battery life of the actual receiver um, or the uh, the sensor itself. So that's that's something that's again another big plus for me and why I like to typically use this style of, uh, of, of sensor on properties. Uh, another thing cool that's really cool about this one is that again you have the ability to change the temperature and the rainfall. So both both uh, set points are you know allowing for you to really kind of hone in on it. So the uh, the options with this one is just kind of setting it between 41 and 33 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, and you get to choose that option just by kind of going down. Uh, you got to hit the arrow button. So once you see that um, flashing temperature gauge there, you can move it down uh, or up depending on what you want to do. Um, so that's kind of a nice little feature there. Um, again, I typically leave it at the highest setting, at least 41 degrees. It doesn't get very cold here. Uh, where we are in Texas. So the other option is you move it over to the right and then you've got your rain, uh, set, rainfall set point. So this again goes from a uh, half inch all the way down to an eighth of an inch. Um, and again, you could just kind of move through with whatever you want to do here um, based off of the uh, little plus and minus symbol there. Um, but again, it, it gives you the freedom to, to set it how you want it to set it as opposed to, uh, you know, being uh, you get the 40 degrees and that's it. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature to have too. So the irrigation mode, um, again, uh, the programmed and what you'd see with that is that it just shows like, hey, we're going to run with it as it's programmed. Uh, the override sensor says that it will override it for 72 hours. Um, so if you have it on here, let's go back. Um, where it says like this, it'll just override the sensor for 72 hours. Uh, meaning that if the sensor's saying that it's shutting it down, you can go through and override that. Um, the suspending is that it would suspend uh, the sensor for 72 hours as well. So uh, again, nice features that you have to go through and, and get it situated the way you want it to. Um, I'm gonna go back and set it to where it runs as this program. Uh, but that's kind of a nice thing about this this rain and free sensor and why I personally like it uh, More than others. There are some that are very simplistic hunter rain and freeze clicks are super super simple uh, It's just a red light and a green light green light means it's good to go red light means it's shutting it down And uh, I don't think it can get any uh, more simple than that others like Eritrol and weathermatic um, Just show like a like a sensor green light uh, or a red light as well, but this is uh, one of the better options in my opinion. If you really like to dive in to uh, you know your your system and kind of set it the way you want it to, uh, this is the the sensor for you guys. So, uh, with that being, yeah, that's a, it's a it's a good option for you if you if you want to check it out. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. A uh, good little run through on the uh, the Rainbird WR2 wireless rain and free sensor. Again, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like our videos. Uh, go through and see, you know, see our content, check it all out. Um, get hit that alert button, that little bell uh, in the corner as well, just to get alerts on when we put out new new content. Uh, we're always looking to kind of, uh, you know, adapt as much as possible. So if you guys got some requests on videos you want to see next, uh, like if you want to go over an overview on some things, we can definitely do that for you guys as well. Just put them in the comment section below, and we will get you guys taken care of. With that being said, you guys make it a great day, and thanks again for watching.